Welcome back to Satisfactory, folks. In the last episode, we got rotors going. They are being produced right here and being sent down the line here. And they are stuck right now because we haven't made a bin or anything for them to get put into. But that is all good because we're going to be using all of them except a few for making our motors. Now, the next project is going to be stators, and if we just take a look at my little notepad here, we can see that we need 17 machines, or 17 assemblers making stators. For that we need 306 steel pipe, which we are already producing. We are not using uh, any of them at the moment, other than for our... Uh, frames and we're not using that many of them for the frames so we have enough here to uh, already set up to to make our stators but we also need a thousand and twenty wire a minute and i have actually already set that up as well so all we need to do is set up the stator machines so the wire will be made over there up top way up top and the pipes are being made down here on the bottom level here, right there. We have pipes being made. We have, what is it, 30 machines making pipes here. And we are producing 450 of them a minute once we get the Mark IV belts. So that is all fine and dandy. So I am hoping that I somehow can fit in 17 machines here making stators which i should be able to i should be able to do that so it'll be a bit of a weird setup it'll probably run down here and come over here and go l-shaped and down there and that will be it so it'll be one long long line but that's quite all right that's quite all right okay so and then after that we need to make uh, motors and i think we're going to make the motors up top here so if we just run up here and take a look here we have our utility floor which is just going to be belts basically and up here we have our personal storage floor as well as some of it will be a production floor, and I think it's up here that we will make motors. Didn't I just see something weird there? No. It looked like there was a wall sticking out or something. Okay, never mind. So, we'll have our personal storage down here at this end, and we will have production down here at this end. So, we will set up our motor machines, 10 assemblers made making motors, down here or at this end. So, yeah. So I am going to set up uh, to begin with the stators and then I will bring you guys back. So see you guys in a second. Right, so we have set up, I have set up our stator production. We have 13 machines going here and I've already hooked up the pipe to them. So we have the input here and we have Four more machines over here for a total of 17. So that's going to supply our uh, motor making. Let's see. Can we get up here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So as on the others, uh, there is overflow. So I have set up an overflow line here for wire. And... Uh, up here we have the uh, what what's it called uh, well these are all wire right so we have pipes down here then we have uh, wire here wire here and wire up top and the overflow from one wire is going to from the bottom wire is going to come up here and merge in and basically start a new uh, line of overflow wire so we have the wire for each of 
the three production cycles or production lines here. So 450 for each. And then we have here we have overflow going up to a new line that will come down. And you can see this drops down and goes in. And so does this one and so on. And this one turns and just handles the last one here or the first one of these on the side as well. So there's a bit of a split there, but then it's done. And it dropped down, drops down and continues over and supplies these last three machines and it has an overflow. So yeah, that is basically it. Then we have the output here and the output is going to come all the way down here and here I have a bit of a problem. I need to put a wall door in there, but if I remove this wall then I won't be, have, have, be able to put it in again without deleting all the, all the belts. So I'm not going to do that right now. So the stators will come down all this way together with both of the overflow lines and they will come in and go up here or something like that. So that's the stators. We just need some uh, wires to come over. Then we're ready to make stators. So we're going to get those lines going sometime today. And let's see, can we get out here somehow? Wow. I want to get out. It's a bit cramped, but it's fine. Over here, this whole area is basically just going to be empty, right? So I just set up a workbench, uh, equipment workbench, and craft bench, and a few personal storage boxes there. Just to have something here. Right. So if we run up top here, I have set up our motor factory as well. And we have the input on this side and the output on this side. And there are 10 machines making five motors a minute each for a total of 50 motors. And all we really need to do now is get our wire over here and then we're good to go. So let's go have a look at the wire. Oh, before we do that, uh, I did hook up uh, because we need needed more copper for the wire. So if we run over here and take a look, then you will see that I have a, it's a bit hard to see right now. I have a copper line going way over here and it comes from way over there behind the arch. So yeah, and it basically comes around and goes up the same way as the rest of our raw materials and everything is working just fine. So let's get over to the copper machines here or the copper wire machines. So if we run up here and take a look. It's a long way up. And you get a bit dizzy from it, but fine. I think I'll do something with uh, jump pads eventually. But the copper machines are going here. Oh, the wire machines are going here. They're getting supplied from down here. Coming up and being split off into the three wire lines. And basically we just need to get the wire over to the other factory building. Oh, hey there, Junior. And we're going to do that here. So let's stick in a wall. Like so. And then we need these to come over. And I think what I will do is... So we have output where? Here. All right. So you will come out and go into here, I think. That's right. 
and then you'll drop down and this one will come out and go into here I think Let's just check it yes and you will drop down here and then it's the last one and it will come out and go into there uh, and we need a regular conveyor pole in between here there okay so you drop down go into there you drop down go into there and there we have it the three lines of wire then we need it to come all the way out there so let's just do that and there and that was stupid a little bit never mind we'll just do this and we'll get the other two going as well and one there we go and then we just need to hook them in there so the bottom one is not a problem that's easy enough come down to there turn there and to there easy peasy actually we don't want to do that yet because we want to set up the um, conveyor lifts first but we need the other two to come down and go in as well so i guess we'll have to do something like this i don't really like uh, how close can we get here there okay. there there and it'll go straight in yeah yeah and the last one like so so nope not like so like so Go, I think, and go straight in. Yep. Okay. So, since these are in the bottom, they will be going in the bottom over here as well. So we need a conveyor wall here, a wall conveyor. And I know that this one has been turned around, and I'll fix that at some point. So we need to set these up. I think we're, it's going to be easiest to do from down there. It kind of sucks because then we have to run all the way back, but it is what it is. Actually, I think we can do it from up here. We can do it from up here. So, we need a foundation. And I think we'll need another foundation. Whoa, that was close. And it is insta-death if I fall off here. We want it to come down to where the bottom line is down there. So there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So let's stick in the fur one furthest away first. so and the next one on. come on come on there and the last one this is hard to see let's just stick a 
foundation there so we can see what we're doing. And get the last conveyor left in here. There. Okay. Then we can take these out. And we can stick these in. There we go. Very nice. And then we need, do need to go down. And it's too far to jump. So we'll just take a little run here. And jump now. Okay. So then we need to get in here. We have that there. Very nice. So take out that wall. Take in a foundation. Remove that foundation. And then we just need to get the belts across. And in there. In there. And in there. Very nice. And stick in the wall again. Okay. So that's that. Then we need to figure out where do we want this downstairs. Let's run downstairs and have a look. And see where it would work best for us. I kind of like this overflow method because it gives us a way to run through everything. So it actually works out quite nicely. Okay. So we have the, what are they called? The screws coming down here. And why do we actually only have three lines of screws coming down here? Don't we need more? Thought we needed more. Oh, we have the other three over there. Fine. So let's take out this wall and stick in a foundation. And see, so here we want another wall this one so this will come down and go into there that works so we actually need to take out this one and put in the foundation because we need this conveyor wall right here Actually, I want it up here, I think. There. Which means that we can just stick this wall in again. And remove that. Okay. So. Mayor left. Oh, I can't afford. I need to run up and get some uh, steel beams. I actually thought I had enough, but nope almost we're almost there but we do need to get the output up to our motor machines as well and then we need to get it into some storage containers whoops and actually we need a storage container for rotors as well okay because we will have an overflow of rotors. I haven't actually done that yet. That is an oversight on my part. Man, don't we have any steel beams left? I thought I had a ton. Do we still have the container in here? Nope. Okay. Then we need to go to our steel beam factory. 
Where's that? Uh, where is our steel beam factory? I guess it's up here. No, it has to be on this floor. Wait, what? Oh, it's down here. Can't find my way around my own factory. Okay, but now I remember we are producing steel beams down here. And we need to go around here. We do have room for some sort of production line here. I'm not sure what it's going to be. It might be another pipeline, but then we do need to expand. But that is doable. So let's just grab some steel beams here. We'll, I guess we'll grab as many as we can carry. We're going to need a lot. And there. I do need to get the steel beams up into storage again as well. And there. Okay. We can't go that way, so we need to go around. Well, I suppose we could. We can just jump. Oh. So. Let's get back out. And finish this off. Okay. And we need to go in here. When the factory gets big, and this isn't even that big yet. I mean, we're only doing tiers one, two, three, four. Not even all of tiers before. So, yeah, the factory is going to get a lot bigger. And I already can't find my way around it. Bodes well. There. 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 Shut that down and stick in a wall again. And then we will come up to our. Oh, I want to run the other way because that is much, much easier. Run this way. And we need to go up and hook up the wire. And then we'll come back down and see the whole thing start up. And of course, hook up the motors so that we can get our motor production going and get the space elevators sent off and get to fuel power and all that other good stuff. I think trains is in the next one too, right? So yeah, that will be very nice. There. And there. I really should lift them up. Ah, never mind, I can do that later if I feel like it. I feel it's necessary. I don't right now. I think... Here? Is that right? I think that's going to be crooked. I think we need to come one further. Or what? No, probably not. Probably not. I think that's going to be just right. There. We, but if we I think it is going to be right let's put one there and there let's see is it right yeah that's right looks right to me okay so that's one line of wire going down Here comes the second one. 
and the third one and all should be good here there we go all right so that's why we're going the miner that I have over there is a Mach 2 miner, so because we don't have Mach 3s right, yet, right? But it is on a normal node, so we're producing 300 copper ore, but one uh, because it's overclocked to 250%. But once we get Mach 3 miners, I think it will go up to supply 100% of what we need. And for now, this is just fine. So, okay. So basically we just need to hook these three guys up into those three guys and then we are done. Yeah. I don't think you can be there right now. So this one will come into the bottom one. So let's start with the others first. Go top. Go middle. Go bottom and stick in these conveyor pole stackables so it looks nice and this should get our stuff going and it does just take 60 wire per minute so that's why I have just put in regular uh, Mach 1 belts and we are, in fact, producing daters. Yay! See? There comes one. Daters are coming down the line. Fantastic. Fantastic. There's another one coming in there, and down the line I love it and they're coming from over there as well all right I am very happy about this Aha! staters are coming down the line fantastic fantastic this power pole is gonna have to move isn't it because we need to get that out Hmm. I'll figure that out. Okay. So we need the stators to come out and we need the two overflow lines. So what do we actually have going on here? Uh, let's put down this foundation. I don't think we need these anymore. I'm not entirely sure what that was for oh it was for i think it was from oh, for overflow of something i'm not entirely sure okay we will send this up to i think we'll go top line and we will stick in some walls here Let's do it up here. So one of those and one of those. There we go. And then we do need conveyor poles or uh, conveyor lifts. Oh, well. And there okay so that's done and we can remove that and stick the walls down here back in and this really is gonna have to go you know what let's move it over here Will it connect to this? Yes, it will. 
which means that it will also connect to that and to that. All right. So there we go again. Okay. So the stators will come in there. The pipes, if I can get them, will come in there, and the wire will come in there. All right. And this actually, the logistics, this definitely just needs to be Mark 1 belt because we don't have that much overflow of pipes. Okay. So that is all done. And we should be able to run upstairs now and hook up. Oh, did I put, let's just double check our rotors here. Mm. Foundation. So we need those to come up as well. And yes, they are going up into there. Good. So stick the wall back in. And where is it? There. Get up top. We'll actually go uh, get up to our utility floor and get everything moving along. So for now, just the stators and the rotors. So here we go. And where do we have the stator or the rotors? We have the rotors there. So we need those to come along and I actually need to go up top and see which way I put the, the line so that we get this coming up in the right place. Well, let's just see, it's coming down, it's going that way. So we want it to come out somewhere over here. Hmm, that kind of sucks actually. That kind of sucks. What we could do, I suppose, is make a hole here. And have it come up that way. I think that's what we'll do. So if we just stick So we need both of them to come up that way, right? So if we do this, it's going to come down straight in front of the door, but I'll just move the door. And then we need something like, uh, I need a, uh, this one actually. Something like this, I think. And let's just put in another conveyor pole here. And this is just so that the conveyor will definitely have the right direction. And it will go up. I think that's the height. Like that. Okay. Let's just go up and take a look. Yeah, that works. That 
that works. Good. And come back down here. And then we just need to get these lines moving along. Look at all of those wires lying along the belt. Nice. So I think what I will do is I'll stick this here and then another one. Actually, let's put it on the other side if we can. Can't see right in the middle here. And this is going to be kind of a spaghetti floor, but I am fully okay with that. I actually think it's kind of nice. So there comes our rotors and they need to go over and it doesn't really matter which one they go into, but we can put them down on the floor again, which I want to do. So let's just actually let's put them down on the floor as fast as we can. That's there. And then come over here. And I think this is where we need to be. Isn't it? Are we centered here? Yeah, we are. And there we go. There are the rotors. Okay. Next is the stators. And the stators are which one? I have no freaking idea. Uh, it's one of the sides. I think it's this one. Isn't it? Nope. It's this one. Not too far up. There. Okay. There are our stators. And I think I'll keep them going up top for now. Yeah. Why not? And they could actually... Uh, because if I want something going... Like three lines going on top of the wires, then I don't want that. So what I will do... Is... Come out to here, I think. No, uh, not quite. Actually, it is right here I want to come to, right? Because... Then we'll just run it on top of the rotors. Take a pull here. And we'll run the stators on top of the rotors. So it looks nice and clean. And let's just stick this in and make sure that it's straight. Of course it is. I don't make mistakes like that. Whoops. I do make mistakes like that, apparently. And then we do need it to come down at some point. Actually, I 
think I want... Why, why did I do that? Uh, I want... A conveyor... Could just go with a conveyor pole stackable, I guess. In here. I think here. And... Stick that on there. Like so. That'll work. That will work. Okay. We're almost there, guys. All right. So that is staters coming along the line. Coming up. Soon. There they go. Going in there. And running down the line. And we should be making our very first motor in just a second. There we go. Motors being produced. Hurrah. Then we just need to get them to storage. But I think I'll do that uh, off camera. I think what we'll do is we'll go back down to the utility floor and pull it over and stick it into a container over here. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. But that is it for this episode, guys. We have motors being produced. I love it. This is the first one on our output belt, I wonder. I don't see one. Where is it? There it is. Our first motor. Yay. Motors. Which means that in the next episode, we are going to shoot off the space elevator and get to tiers five and six fan freaking fantastic so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time